the video of this shit. It doesn't help that if you're warning people about a nuclear blast, it looks like some sort of fucking 3D simulation, fucking dystopian Sesame Street hellhole when you're in a late stage empire and shit is unraveling and the ruling class are completely unaccountable to the people. They don't do anything the people want to actually happen. When you get to that point, you have to do things to protect the ruling class. One of them is let the cops be completely uninhibited and militarized. But another is to keep the people as afraid as possible. When they're afraid, they stay in line. They don't question. They just want to be taken care of. They want daddy or mommy to take care of them. And in the society sense, daddy and mommy is the ruling class, right? It is the people in Washington and the military, et cetera. So here, this is the insanity that just happened in New York. I'm going to play this video. Today, the New York City mayor is answering the question that a bunch of people are asking, which is, why are we getting warned about how to stay safe from a nuclear attack right now? That's after this new PSA started airing, explaining how to do just that. Keep yourself safe from nukes with Mayor Eric Adams saying, hey, don't freak out. No need to panic, but be prepared. The odds of a nuclear attack, pretty low. Basic stuff. Go inside and stay there. But people are wondering what is up with the video of this shit. It doesn't help that if you're warning people about a nuclear blast, it looks like some sort of fucking 3D simulation, fucking dystopian Sesame Street hellhole. Hey, we're coming to you from a false reality. We're not anywhere near where you are because a nuclear blast is about to rain down and we don't want to fucking be there. So we uh, filmed some shit on green screen and fucking sent this PSA to you. <laughs> Seriously, this is like some dystopian shit. So there's been a nuclear attack. Don't ask me how or why. Just know that the big one has hit. New York City officials releasing a PSA on what to do in case of a nuclear attack. Their instructions, get inside, stay inside, and stay tuned. PSAs like this seem like a waste until something bad actually happens. Um, and then they are, they are potentially very valuable. But no need to evacuate just yet. In a statement, the New York City Department of Emergency Management saying that, quote, the likelihood of a nuclear weapon incident occurring in or near New York City is very low. There's no specific threat. We've received feedback that not surprisingly, um, you know, this scenario is something that people don't feel prepared for. This shit is designed to keep people scared. Now, here's the thing. You should be scared about nuclear fallout because the United States, which this thing will not mention, is in a proxy war with Russia and Ukraine, is pushing us ever closer to fucking nuclear fallout. And instead of saying, hey, we need to fucking change our behavior, we're increasing the number of nukes we have, we're modernizing them, we have thousands, we have enough to destroy the world fucking five times over, and we're pulling out of nuclear agreements to stop nuclear proliferation. We're pulling out of those agreements, increasing the odds that there could be a nuclear fucking Armageddon, a nuclear war that hits places like New York City. That should be this discussion. The discussion about, uh, you know, uh, you might want to, like, if you're, if you're covering, if, you, if you're walking over the market and you got any sort of type of fruits like a, a honeydew, you're going to want to put that over your head. It needs to be one of the harder fruits. You're going to need like a watermelon, what, something with a rind, you know, real solid rind, honeydew, cantaloupe will do well. Like an unripe avocado might help if you put that, put three or four of those over your head. Banana's not going to do shit, so don't even worry about that. Uh, but I'm trying to think if there's any others that might be useful. Uh, uh, you know, kumquat's no good. Uh, papaya, you might get a little something from a papaya or maybe like a completely unripe potato could could do a little helpful. Those things can be pretty hard at times. But no, telling you to duck inside for nuclear Armageddon, the only reason they're doing this PSA shit is to keep you afraid. It's just so, it's so pathetic that... Like, they could be telling you things that are actually useful to protect you from our reality, from the world in which we live, such as, hey, here's how to deal with the fact that the world is heating up and New York City is 9 billion degrees because it's all cement and there's not a tree in sight. I lived there for 12 years. I saw a, tr I saw a tree twice 
And once it was a guy, I think, had stolen one and was running down the street with like a sapling. So it is hot as all ever living balls in New York City. In New York City, because it is just radiating cement, blistering fucking global warming. That is all it is. There's barely any dirt which absorbs heat. There's barely any trees which can create shade and, and absorb heat. Uh, I mean, you go into the, I remember you'd be, you'd be melting out on the sidewalks and you'd go into the subway thinking you'd get some reprieve. Like it's downstairs in the bowels of the earth and you'd think you'd get some reprieve. You'd go down there and it would actually be hot. Like it was hotter. The, the subway train would come through and the air that would come rushing with the subway train was just like a massive fart from a sweating 400 pound man. It was not, it didn't cool you. It actually heated you up. It was like opening a pizza oven that when the train would come by and you just, you get no reprieve, no reprieve. And then you'd wait to get on the subway train and you get on the subway train that was empty. Cause you're like, Oh, Hey, look at that. One of the cars is empty. This is wonderful. So you hop on the train and then right as the doors are closing, you realize, Oh, fuck, it's the unair conditioned car. If you see 14 cars go by and they're all full of people and then you see one empty, do not get on it. Whatever you do, don't get on the empty subway car. There's one or two options. One is that it's hot as balls because it's not air conditioned. And two is that it, it, someone has taken a dump in that car. You, you, like there is smell absorbent material. This is smell radiant material whatever they make a subway car out of it actually amplifies smell and pushes it back at you <laughs> so so you'll walk on there and it'll it'll feel like you stepped in to a dump it, it, like a, a human pile of turd that is what it'll feel like so do not get on the empty subway car this nuclear psa isn't helping anybody because if a nuclear bomb hits new york city it's, no one's going to survive because they saw this PSA that said, go inside. Like, you're just fucked. You're just fucked. It's, if a nuclear bomb hits New York City, our system, our society, our world, our lives are so blisteringly fucked that whatever they told you to do in this weird 3D dystopian hellhole PSA doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All bets are off. If a nuclear bomb hits New York City, all bets are off. Okay. It's at that point, you know, you're you're fucking you're eating your neighbor's cat to survive. You 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 fucking you're using one of your kids like wiffle ball bats that you'd sharpen to a point in order to stab your neighbors to get them out of the way so you can be the one that gets the siphons off the last drips of gasoline out of the car on the block, you know, like it's, it's, it's all bets are off. It's, it's not uh, like if they wanted this to be a legit, how to survive a nuclear bomb in New York city, it'd be like, if you make it past the blast, you're going to die of radiation a few days later. In order to enjoy your time dying of radiation, you should find someone you love and hopefully have consensual sex. Okay. Now, for those of you a little outside of that zone, so you're not even in New York City, you're like in New Jersey, and you're still dying of radiation, but it's like a couple of years later. For those of you there, then here is how to fry up a, a shih tzu. Here is how to bake a Frijon BJ dog in order to make a nice pot roast. Like that is, that would be something useful if they really want people to have useful information as a nuclear bomb hits. Fuck you, New York City. But the real reason for this is to keep you scared. It's to keep you scared, keep you in line, keep you looking to daddy and mommy to take care of you. That's the real reason for these. So... If that's what you're looking for, you know, more power to you. I hope you hope daddy and mommy treat you well. Uh, and uh, yeah, enjoy getting in line and not asking questions.